welcome viewers to soft academy a project control and engineering software academy our today's content is based on activity code assignment in prima with a p6 from excel sheet uh, let me tell you about i will assign only project codes uh, in my prima with a p6 and i will tell you how to create codes in prima with a p6 and then i will match that code from excel sheet let me explain you from my prima with a p6 sheet let's this is uh, a project it does not have any uh, WBS codes or WBS assignments or you can say that this project do not contain any WBS and I will assign activity codes to this project group and sort. For example, these are just simple activities. This project has simple activities and this have been scheduled. So whenever it will deliver to me, I don't know that which work is following which uh, area and I cannot group or subgroup this one item. As you can see here, if you group and subgroup, even it uh, this project don't have any WBS code. Okay, so maybe a project have WBS code. Also, you can assign uh, uh, activity codes also. But I am stick to the point that uh, activity codes. How to assign activity code assignment? It's necessary or not necessary. I will not go in deep and that which method should be used or which WBS category should be used. WBS should be used or activity code should be used. I will not go into the deep discussion of this one because this is uh, another topic. I will go here in enterprise and I will create my activity codes and this project do not have any activity code so I told you already that this three type of activity codes global EPS project so if I assign a project code when this project will be uh, transferred to someone else uh, this project code will be appear in his system and XR file exported then it will be appear in the project code so if you use project code then whenever you deliver your XR file project code will be also transferred global code code will be not transferred in next year and XML will be transferred. Okay, so I will go in the modify. First of all, I will create a main head of the code. I have created all the already a codes, activity codes. So these are main heads like zone type of work, sub type of work. So I will create a code for my zone. And now I will go here and I will type here a zone. Okay, so this is my zone code. So whenever I will add a zone, so I will close this one so you can see here main code assignment have been created for zone code assignment zone so code assignment is my project name you can see here code assignment is my project name that's why it will write always like code assignment dash zone so now i will create four codes like this one you can see here four codes like this one z1 z2 z3 z4 i will create this code from here and you can see here z2 z3 z4 like this one and Z3 and Z4. And I will assign the names. So the name should be the similar which already have been assigned with the, uh, uh, you can say here, you have already decided with your contract or whatever given in your, uh, in your description of UQ or which you have been already categorized. So these are all zones. And now I will modify the second second one. So this one is my second one type of work. And I will copy and paste this one. Add. When I will add here. Okay, delete this one. You can see here. Delete this one. And close. And now. See here type of work I will add four codes here you can see earth work pervert work and squat work and you can see here finishing work E C A E C, A, and F. Similarly, I will create a third one for the subtype of work. So this one is my third category. So you can also create for this one. You can see here. And the last one is R. So I have already assigned these codes to my activities here. 
you can see here now all the codes have been created you can change the color from here also uh, by group and sort so now what i will do i have seen you can see here i have already created a zone type and subtype so i have already assigned the codes to the, my activities which have been similarly created here what what i will do i will just export this file export and export my xlsx file next export activities next export the project next now i will create like i have already created add if you haven't created add activities you can create there so add activities i will add a new one which will i will part here uh, code assignment okay assignment so in the project code also you can import your global uh, codes also and project codes also so i have created three subtype of work type of work and zone so these three codes i have created i will just drag there press ok next and i will assign location from here and when i will click this one and desktop i have assigned the location open next and finish now so now i will open my file now this is the file and i will click the file you can see here subtype of work type of work and zone now what i will do i will apply formula is equal to vlookup please listen clearly the formula vlookup formula is simple i will just click on the cell which i want to match a a3 a3 is the cell uh, a row you can see here uh, a cell which will match i will uh, type comma and now i will go the sheet where i have a data and i will go in the sheet with the data and i will select from the column a okay this is the column a okay let do one thing before doing this one let's delete the column between them there are some column which are hide i will unhide and i will delete this one and to make not confusion while we are just uh, doing a we look up also we will delete this one column also so it will not make a big mess while we look up is equal to we look up so you will also understand how i am counting the row uh, counting the columns so now after comma i will select a to g so it means zone r which uh, activity sub type of code r 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven. At seven number column, seven, comma, false. If it's not matching exact, then false. Seven is the number of column. So, okay. So it's available or not available. Okay. So this A one thousand is not available. Other are available. So this one have been done. Now what we will do? We will do for the next one is equal to we look up, and we will apply the same formula for this one. and comma select this one and this one is i think the type of work is at 6 and false false and now type of work is 6 now press down so all the code will be assigned assigned by this one is equal to we look up and when i will go here comma and go next sheet and five number pulse no okay, so this one drag down now copy this one or all one this one all and paste into value paste into value here okay paste value and now convert that one to text you can see here the there is no formula appearing here now save the file control s save or save from here and close this file and now i will open my primavera p6 here i will go import import the file from same location xlsx file next import desktop to the code assignment select the project uh, check the sheet which you have already exported before now import and update existing click update existing and then select the project from here which project is this one so this one project which i have been already opened update activities next finish so there is something error because there was not available one uh, uh, you can see when when i imported there was one activity which have not available in the so whenever an error will be appear please check there
because when we are just doing that one there was not available for a first activity did you remember if you remember and also i will show you from the sheet also let me show you from the sheet there was one error if uh when doing this one so i should not go do import this one i should be empty i should do empty so no issue uh, it show us an error and uh, we have did this one so why these codes are not appear here we can show the code from column and we can show the code from column from user defined field uh, like this one is called codes so we can show the codes here the codes will be appear here like you can see here the codes are assigned now so how we can make a groups group and sort by the code and now the next step is group and sort by we'll right click here group and sort and here we will click on the zone first of all and now i will move the intents i will click on the uh, type of work type of work type of work and now let's apply type of work no type of work and type of work maybe there are two type of work so type of work have been assigned now the last one is sub type of work sub type of work sub type of work click now click on intent apply okay so you can see here all my activity codes are assigned and everything has been you know, arranged as per whatever i want in the you can see here all the coding have been done now i can see where finishing work is and what are the levels all the levels have been assigned you can see here so this is my video about how can you uh, get a project codes or activity codes from another excel sheet and import into your project and you can also uh, give it a uh, deliver to other and please make sure that while you are uh, updating your activity codes from another sheet excel sheet please export first of all excel sheet as i, I have exported first of all then we look up from other sheet we look up as i have we look up from here from this sheet to this one and then import back this is the method so also please make sure that activity id should be matching with another excel sheet which you are importing so when we are creating a project uh, we do this one at that stage so this is my today's content thanks for watching so after time we will meet in next video if you have any comment if you have any uh, suggestion of any video so you can write in the comments uh, also you can contact us our whatsapp number have been given in the description of this video and our email address have been given you can contact with us and we are available for your assistance thanks for watching we will meet in the next video